Good morning. Welcome to another beautiful day in paradise. And it is beautiful. It's a bit rainy today, but you know, it's starting to get a little dry again. And I'm glad God gave us some rain. He knew we needed it. And here we go. He's pretty good about that, of course, right? Even if we don't know we need something, he's always giving us what what is good and right. And, and that's one of the securities that we have as his children. And it's another thing we're going to look at today. We're going to also look at Micah again. Minister Dan gave us a beautiful passage uh, yesterday from Micah 7, talking about how God would throw our iniquities into the depths of the sea, never to be seen again. Beautiful picture of our forgiveness. And today we're going to look at another picture. God paints all sorts of different pictures about what he can do for us, what he does. And this next one, is from Micah chapter 5, which talks, of course, also about his eternal protection, his forgiveness, but the protection that he gives us now. And this might sound familiar to you, because I'm sure you've heard this one before. Verse 2 of chapter 5. But you, Bethlehem Ephrathah, though you are small among the clans of Judah, out of you will come for me one who will be ruler over Israel, whose origins from are, are from of old, from ancient times. Verse 4. He will stand and shepherd his flock in the strength of the Lord in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God and they will live securely for then his greatness will reach to the ends of the earth and he will be their peace. Sounds like Christmas, doesn't it? Beautiful Christmas prophecy about Jesus being born in the town of Bethlehem. And as time goes on in the Old Testament, God keeps dropping these clues as to where Jesus will be born, how he will be born, but even more importantly, who he will be. And it may seem like a small thing, uh, naming the town of his birth. But there's a picture there. Bethlehem was the town in which King David was born. And King David, for all of his faults, was that picture of the king that God wanted for his people, a shepherd who would sacrifice himself for the love that he had for his people. And that's who Jesus would be. He would be the shepherd who would sacrifice himself bodily. But he is also the shepherd who continues to rule for us now. Not just for eternity, arguably the most important part, but for today and for tomorrow. And we will live securely. Does it always feel like that? No. But whether we realize it or not, God is guiding the moments of our lives for our good, for our safety, as a shepherd does. And we take comfort in that. You know, the one born in Bethlehem has long since died and risen again, but is on his throne and will never leave. And on his throne, he guards your life and he guards mine. Know this and help me remember it too, so we live securely. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for the blessings you give. We thank you for the protection that you give. And we thank you for the security with which that allows us to live. Help us to see that so we might live with confidence and we might live with joy, regardless of what surrounds us. We ask this in Jesus' name, amen. Um, just announcement, and I hate to be the bearer of such news, but you've probably heard it already. Uh, the mask mandate has been extended uh, because of the spread of corona, of COVID in our area, uh, Northern Wisconsin, and it has been extended to November 31st until further notice. If, things get better and that is of course our prayer um, so you know we were hoping that come the end of September we would no longer have to wear masks in church but yeah that is still the law and we will obey the law just wanted to keep you on uh, <laughs> updated um, but Christ is still on his throne we are his children life is good God bless your day